Good evening, everyone. Today is our this the eighth of this basics computer training, and uh, as always, we are going to start by showing our outlines. And our today's outlines goes like this: the eight outlines. Recap on the seven. Then title bar, quick access toolbar, menu bar, menu bar home. Then questions and answers. So recap on day seven. On day seven, we extensively talk about shortcut keys and what uh, what are the shortcut keys, and we talk about shortcut keys from uh, control A to control Z, and we also said that uh, well, we are only going to talk about uh, shortcuts that shortcuts that has to do with control only. And we said that there are other uh, there are other shortcuts that has to do with control alt control control uh, sorry there is uh, shift shift uh, shift some shift so 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 things control so 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 things and what have you so we are only uh, to um talk about shortcuts shortcuts that have to do with uh control keys only from control A to control Z. So the the next thing is a uh, title bar. Title bar. Let's go to the Microsoft Word interface. Sorry, let me continue uh, sharing my screen. I was having. <clears throat> so now we are going to uh, start talking about um, title bar. So whenever we say title bar, we are talking about um, this where uh, document one compatibility mode is written. So this is where um, where the title bar is located, and it always takes the names of the name of the file. So whatever the name of your file is, it, the name will reflect here. So whenever you want to know the name of the of your current file, you've just opened, just check this title bar. You are going to see the name of your file. The, the next thing is um, quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar. So this is the quick access toolbar. This is quick access toolbar. So the quick access toolbar always gives you an easy and quicker access to any uh, function inside it or any uh, tax inside that particular, uh, um, that particular bar, which is quick access toolbar. So, Whenever in, in whatever menu you are, in whatever tab you are with, be it you are in home or you are in insert or you are in inside design tab, whatever tab you are in, you can simply access this quick access bar. You normally it contains this save icon, undo icon, and redo icon. Others you can add them by yourself, but by default, whenever you open your Microsoft Word, you will see this three icons. So these are this uh this bar is what we call uh quick access toolbar. So the next um after quick access toolbar is uh home tab, home tab. So this home tab, this home tab consists of a lot of things. It consists of a lot a lot of things, but we are going to just pick up the most important ones and talk about them and then move. So the first thing we are going to talk about um, is this uh, paste. This is a paste icon. Whenever you copy something, whenever you copy something, you um you want to paste it, you can easily come to this uh, paste icon and uh, press it. Once you press it, it will automatically be pasted. Let me just try write something and see. So you see, I've just wrote a name now. So let me copy it. You see, after I've copied it now, if I want to paste it, if I want to paste it somewhere else, I will just click on this. I will just click on this paste. You see, it has automatically uh, been pasted. You see, so this is uh, where you can 
first you are tested. So the most important things we are going to uh be talking we are going to talk about now are this uh, how to change the font style of your uh text. Maybe I have this text now. I want to change the style of this particular uh text. All I will do is just come to this after highlighting after I highlighted my after I highlighted my my text all i will do is just to click on this um arrow button then i will just select the will just select the uh, font style i want to i want to select you see the my font style has already changed you can choose any font style uh, you want to choose the next thing is this um font size a uh, font size so now if i want to increase the font size if I want to increase the font size of my uh of my text, all I do is just click on this and I can so then I write maybe if I want 15. If I want 15, I will just write 15. If I want 10, or I can just simply I can type it and I can just select it in this uh drop down uh, list. You see, once I'm selecting it is increasing automatically so you can choose any one you want or you just write any font size you want so the next thing is just how is how to uh bold this how to bold your text let me use this font because it looks more thinner so that we can uh, understand it clearly so you see this if i want to bold this uh, text now all i will do is just click on this b once I click on this B, you see my 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 text automatically being bold. It's become more bold and black. So now this is how you uh, bold your this thing, how you bold your text. Then the next thing is how you are you are going to italicize how you are going to italicize your text. Once you click on this, your text will will just be italicized. It will just bend a little bit. Then the next thing is how to underline. If you want to underline, all you will do is just click on this. You see my text is already underlined. So the next thing I will do is how to uh, strike to the right of, maybe I've wrote something. Let me just wrote, um, uh, let's say Osman Abdullahi. So maybe now, I wrote this Usman Abdullah and I want to strike through it. So all I will do is to click on this. You see, once I click on this, you see there is just a straight line that strike through my, what do you call it, through my text. So this is how you should, you are going to put a strike through inside, strike through your, uh, your uh, how, how you are going to put strike through your text. So the next thing is how you put um on uh, how you put um what do you call it uh subscript and uh, superscript subscript and the superscript. So if you want to put uh, subscript subscript, let's say you want to write uh the camel formula of water, which is H two O, and uh, uh two is uh beside, and it is just uh or uh, the uh, downside of the uh, H. So you will do after writing H, you just click on this. After clicking on this, then you just write two. You see, once you write two, the, your two appears at the downside of your right up. Then you just click on this, and then you continue writing the other uh, items, the other uh, this thing. So the next thing is subscript subscript is writing on the upper side of your text on the upper side of your text or letter maybe i want to write um y square y o y to the power of five let's see y to the power of five so this is y and i want to write to the power of five once i click on this you see once i click on this and the row root five you see it automatically uh appears so this is how you are going to uh write this um uh super script so the next most important things is this this uh, one is just increasing the highs increasing the size and decreasing the size so the next thing is just um uh case issue the issue of um 
capital letter or small letters, which is case, uh, case, uh, upper case, lower case, and uh, uh, sentence case. So once I wrote, for instance, now I wrote Ahmasan, and I want all of these names, irrespective of the starting or ending or middle point, to be uh, all in small letters. All I will do is just to kill, to select uh, this one and just write lower case. So all that up will automatically be in lower case. So the next thing is just uh, upper case. The next thing is upper case. You see, once I click on this, it will be to all be in capital uh, letters. So the next thing is what? The next thing is um, sentence case. So sentence case always give uh, the first letter, always the first letter in the sentence. The first letter in the sentence will be a capital letter. So that is for this. So the next most important things is how to just change the font color of your uh, text. So if you want to change the font color of your text, say I want to change it to green. All I will do is just select the color and uh, my uh, color will automatically uh, change. So well, as far as it's concerned, we are done with the most important things inside a uh, font. Inside font, we are done with the most important things uh, we need to look. So the next thing is paragraph, paragraphing. So if I want to just put uh, a paragraph, all I will do uh, inside paragraph, uh, we see that we have bullet point, we have um, uh, left alignment, right alignment, justification, left font, and so we are going to talk about them the most all of the most important things uh we need to know so the first thing we are going to talk about is bullet point how to put a bullet point inside your right up let's say i have the list of names now i want to oh let's say just i have just um a list of courses list of courses let's say i have data analytics so now before i started writing before i start writing i'll just click on this bullet point so once i click on the bullet point I will just uh, start writing data analysis. Data analysis. Sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, data visualization. Data cleaning data processing so you see, once i hit enter the next bullet point will automatically appear this thing is uh numbered bullet point so this numbered bullet point the numbered bullet point is as the name impress it just give a number maybe you have the list of a student you have um ahmad uh, sani uh usman uh sani um let's say um i mean saadu and what have you so you see inside this uh list it once you hit enter it will automatically give you the next uh do you call it, the next item or the next uh name in your list or whatsoever and it will automatically give it the next number so the next thing is um the next thing is, um, what do you call it? Uh, alignment. You want to align your text to right, or you want to align your text to center, or you want to align your text, uh, to the left. So, whatever type you um you want to do, this is where you are going to do it. Maybe now let's start by centralizing. If I want to centralize it, I will just click this. You see, my text is automatically centralized. If I want to um align it left right uh, all i will do is just click on this and uh, my text will automatically be at the uh, right side the next thing i will do is just how to maybe i want the text to be at the left hand side all i will do is just click on this then my text will be at the left hand side so for justification this justification this justify issue it's normally reflect an understandable when you have a write-up 
to understand like, a very long write up and uh, you want to justify it. So all the all the uh lines you see i have almost 17 lines lines so all the seven lines all the seven lines let me just start with this uh paragraph or two paragraphs so you see these two paragraphs you see um this paragraph it always uh, gives uh what do you call it um it um the justify uh function it always uh make uh the lines to be to have the same ending point and the same starting point unless if it is a paragraph so now once i just keep looking at it once i click on justify it will automatically uh, uh cut everything and it in place you see let me just click on justify you see it's automatically justified and all of the lines are having the same ending point the next thing is what the next thing is uh line spacing the next thing is line spaces so once i click on this uh line spacing i will see this uh, 1.0 so i'll just select any font uh what do you call it any font i want i will just select any uh i will just select any font style or oh, line spacing i will just select any line spacing i want to uh select so let me just select this uh 2.0 i will just click on okay so you see my uh my line spacing now has changed to has been uh, sorry my line has been expanded not compared to this one this one is very close to each other so once you want to change the lines and you want it to be very long or very high that's where you are with this is where you are going to just click and select the numbers the next thing in is indentation maybe i want to indent you understand let me just say i want to indent this paragraph i want to indent this paragraph to shift a little bit so you see i just indented my a uh, paragraph and it's just uh shift a, a little a bit you see let me just indent again so you see i just i just indented my distance and i can shift it to the uh, to exactly where i want it to be but i want it to stay here that's why i just uh, leave it here so the next thing is uh uh what do you call it? the uh right in the left indentation so as i click on this you see it has just shifted to the uh left hand side so next thing i think okay so i think uh we i don't know this important things in this place the next thing here is just uh, find a uh, place. If I want to find something at uh, a place, it will something. All I will do is just click on um at uh, a place. So once I clicked on a uh, place, I will see the name I want to change it to. Then I will just um change it to that particular name. Now, now, okay. Now say I want to change the wherever they wrote video. I want to change it to what music. For instance, so once I click on video and I click on uh, music, all I will do is just to select all and just see how many replacements I've made so far. So you see, wow. to see how many replacements I've done so far. So you see where all uh, all 160 replacements were made. So this is 160 uh, replacement I have done so far. So this is how you are going to uh, replace. And uh, as far as home tab is concerned, this is uh, where we are going to stop. Thank you very much for listening and have a great night. Thank you very much.